Next news story is Mark Rober. I love Mark Rober. Mark Rober is a YouTuber. He makes videos on the internet. And much and, like myself. And as <laughs> if you have a young child, you might discover he creates like engineering kits that are really aimed at kids from like mm -hmm. five to 15. So it's he's really like cool. an engineering YouTuber. He makes a lot of cool engineering videos. And he just did this video. This has been a big deal this week where he uh, compared a Tesla, which has radar sensors. It, Tesla's automated driving works solely off of cameras. Yeah. Everybody else uses LiDAR. And in then, addition and, to cameras. And he compared it to a car that has LiDAR. Yeah. Um, and he did a bunch of different tests with it to see, you know, what this, whether Tesla's system wasn't, was, was safe enough. And he basically had like a kid, would the car stop if it saw a kid run into the road? And the answer for the Tesla was yes. But then when you added rain to the experience yep. and a kid was running into the road, it was just too much going on and the Tesla ran into the kid, et cetera. Yep. Oh, I think actually the Tesla in that one didn't run into the kid, but with fog, it ran, it ran into, into the, the kid. kid there, ran to the kid with fog. But the best one was solved. this, where he actually created a fake road on a, on a sheet ahead Wiley of the car. Coyote style. Wiley Coyote style to see if the Tesla would run into the road. The cars with LiDAR see this as an object and don't yeah. hit it, but the Tesla did run into the road, smashed right into this giant, this right. giant screen. Right, which, great consumer advice. Who hasn't run into a Wiley <laughs> Coyote experience in their fact? I certainly have. I know to stop. But it, it is it is fascinating to see the difference between the, for the approaches for and, and to just see it all tested and actually tr yeah. Yeah. truth be told, the real world application of this video I think is minimal. I don't know. I, okay, Kids obviously. run out of the street in heavy fog. Uh, there, there are certainly the, situations where it's the, probably happened. The point I'm saying is Elon Musk has made, a, and Tesla's engineers have made a really big point. They used to use LiDAR in some of their earlier Model S systems. They got rid of that and, and have said repeatedly, cameras are good enough. What this demonstrates is that in edge, certainly in edge cases where there's a fake wall road, <laughs> but also in situations where- That is where, an edge case. Yeah, it's, it's in situations the edge where, you can go. where visibility is low, so snow, snow, rain, fog, other related events, LiDAR still has a really substantial benefit because cameras can only see really what less than you as a human can see. Yeah. And so their visibility is not improved in this. It settings. was interesting. It is given how Tesla art. sells this product, full yep. self-driving. You see some limitations in edge cases. I will say, in and concurrence rain. with Tesla, honestly, um, it probably is good enough in most situations. Sure, th there's a big difference. Virtually, between, is it good enough for normal? And does it match what they Advertise. claim the benefits of the cameras versus lidar are? Answer to that second question is no. Is it good enough for normal driving? Sure. 